Welcome back to Healy Bars. This is Harry Eddy, and today is May 28th, 2020. Um, I'm going to introduce a second generation Horizon Bar for the GTL. Uh, the later model GTL went to a different hydraulic master cylinder and line, which made the previous design incompatible with the newer, uh, newer bike. So what we did was we went to the drawing board, come up with a brand new design, which incrementally makes us a better than the previous design, and we'll get into some of those details. Um, we're going to go over the basic installation, very straightforward. We're going to go over making adjustments and torquing. So let's get to it. So to streamline the process, we've already removed the factory handlebars. Uh, the bars are held on with three pieces of hardware per side. They're a torque bit which makes it rather difficult to get at. A lot of people are loosening the nut here and pulling the whole unit up to make it easy to get at them. Um, we, we haven't done it that way but that is popular for a lot of people out there. So going forward we've already put on our adapters and we supply hex nuts. They're a 13 millimeter head and um, snug those up. Very difficult to torque them but usually with a wrench that long you can lay into them quite a bit to make sure they're nice and snug. And at this point we're going to mount the, the uh, riser system uh, which already has all our upper joints uh, in, in place. And What you need to do, we're going to install it at about this angle back. Uh, about all four fingers could fit under the tank about right there. And you have to look down straight on and adjust the knurling so it sits equally. And then we put uh, our fork clamp in place, followed by the hardware. This requires a six millimeter hex. And I have these are uh, rather aggressive knurling, so they'll dig in. So before you tighten anything, make sure you adjust it left to right. And make sure you start all four of these before you start tightening anything down. And at this point, we want to tighten the forward screws first. And because we're going to make a rough adjustment, the taller the rider is, the more these are going to be forward. The shorter and the greater the reach you want to, or the reduction in reach you want to make, you've got to bring these back more. Um, and at this point, we're not going to torque this yet. I can see that I've got it lined up nice left to right, same amount of knurling per side. So I'm just going to get in there and just give that a little bit of torque so it doesn't slide and we start putting it together. Okay, And that's very lightly tightened but it's not going anywhere. Next we're going to put the handlebar tubes in and put the controls on them. So what we're going to do is make a couple rough adjustments. Um, when these are assembled they're just very lightly torqued. So this is all the way in its rearmost position, you can see that. We're going to move it forward just a little bit so we're not already up against the stop. And we're going to try right about there as a starting point. And if you look carefully down here, there's a series of machine dots, and we use the split right here on the, uh, this split here, and the dots so you can get in there and mirror both sides. At this point, we can do this very easily by just sighting. I'll show you in a sec. Just looking down this edge and making it parallel with that edge, which is right about there. Okay. Now what we want to do here, just want to loosen these four bolts. Okay. 
And we're going to adjust these guys because they're they're not in a riding position yet. So right in here is the pinch bolt that clamps the forward back adjustment. I'm going to loosen that. And we'll take another close-up of this, but again, there's little dots here, and there's a single dot on the lower portion, and you use that as your guide. And I'm going to set this up to be at two and a half dots from the outside in. Two and a half dots from the outside in. Again, that's just a starting point. Um, it's good for most people, and from there, you can fine tune it just like you have an adjustable seat and steering wheel in your car. You're going to get that so it's comfy. One, two and a half dots. Again, this is just snug. Nothing's been torqued yet. Okay, so we're going to pick up the handlebars, so there's a two, bar, two of them, there's a, a left and a right, obviously. This is the damper weights, so these would be the outside of the tubes. You can see how this bar clearly is a greater distance here. This is the right bar, the hole is further up. So we're going to take this bar, we're going to grab the throttle housing, we're going to slide it in. We've already loosened this screw, but we're going to take this one completely out. And this radial groove is going to intersect with this bolt. So you bring this in until it's flush, put the bolt back through it, now we've caught that. Whoop radial groove. This is why you want to really cover that area because this thing eats bolts. There we go. And we're just going to tighten this hand tight right now because we don't know what orientation we're going to need yet. Okay, that's looking good. Now we're going to take screw. One of these long guys. Slide the grip till it's almost flush. Okay, you can see the hole right there. I don't know if you can see it in the photo, but it's right here, so I've turned it to realign it. And what we're going to be, what we're going to be doing is getting it, and the bottom of the, the housing here is a, a bolt. Uh, I'm sorry, a nut. And we've got to just line that up to the hole. So we line up that screw, make sure it engages in the threaded nut on the bottom of the housing, and snug that in place. At this point, we're going to bring the top back into position and sit it down like that. And we're going to use our One of our small, I'm going to call them a wood screw because they're, that's what they look like. And we're going to put this in up from the bottom. Put that up from the bottom and tighten that up. Sometimes it's a little easy to get at the screw. Make sure you have enough slack here and you can tip it up at this angle. And... Uh, get at that. But remember, this is like a wood screw. You tighten it into plastic so when it stops, just a tiny bit more and that's it. Now we put this rear cover, bottom cover on. Uh, we want to make sure this small hole goes towards the front. This goes towards the back. So the grommet's going to end up fitting into there. And this can be a little tricky to get in here. But make sure this rubber grommet slides down and you want the grommet, the rubber part to be within that plastic zone there. Bring that up and click the back into place like that. And then the forward half will Whoop. 
and uh, now you just need to put the forward screw in and this side's done. Now we're going to put the front brake master cylinder in place. It's fairly simple and straightforward. This customer has a ram ball in her cap, uh, but it's the same otherwise. So we'll just tighten that up and put that in place. Now uh, you want to leave a bit of a gap here so when you close it there's room around the control housings. Okay, the first thing that I've done here is I've loosened the two screws here, made sure that the handlebar was in flush with the end, and I've rotated this so, such that the buttons are in a good location. Then I rotated the master cylinder into a a good elevation clocking and then went ahead and tighten these guys down and then we can put the damp weight in the end. So there's the right handlebar and it's all on. Now we'll go over and do the other side. Okay now we're on the left side got the left handlebar with the damper end out and we're going to take and slide that in. And we're going to take and engage this tube until it's flush with the end here. Make sure that hardware engages the groove, which it does. And then we will tighten. Just snug these up. Remember, nothing's tight yet. We're going to go over everything when we make a final adjustment and torque everything. Okay, now this has, I think these are grip buddies, so I gotta roll this up. Now in order to line this up, you've gotta be somewhere pretty close there. Well first, we gotta find out where the hole is. Okay, it's the hole straight up and down. So that needs to be more horizontal, like that. Okay, we'll get this back to about flush. Now we gotta look in here and line up the hole, which is right there. Put the, the other long screw in, and sneak it around until we find the hole on the other side. And right here, you wanna push and hold that hex bolt in place. Sometimes this takes a little bit of have to try this a few times and then snug that down. So now we want to rotate the, the um, housings to put the buttons in the right position. And we're going to snug those down. Just snug is good for now. I mean, nothing's moving. Alrighty. Now we're going to take the master cylinder. This has the reverse. We'll leave that dangling for now. Put this guy in a position. The little hole, tapped hole, goes down. Put this in the position. Get your torque screwdriver. Make that adjustment and then and then just tighten her up. small screw put your reverse lever cover back in place
Okay. And followed by the damper weight. For that, we're going to use a T45. This has a grip buddy on it, so it looks a little different than yours, maybe. And we will wait to torque this until everything else is torqued, because that will happen. Alrighty. We have two rubber plugs we're going to attach to here. This is a line that uh, the customer has a device plugged in. Let's leave it up there. So at this point, we can get right into adjustments. So you're going to sit on the bike. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to adjust the height. Now, taller people, generally someone with a longer reach has a taller torso. So as you rotate this forward, this gets higher. And at that point, then you can adjust uh, that. So this one here is the course adjustment. And that's going to be for the height and for the setback region. I like to call it region because you can do similar things with these two adjustments. So this is number one. Once you get the height and setback about right, not the reach so much, but the height and setback of the riser, then you're going to come in here and torque this 18 foot-pounds. You do these first and then these. Now you work back. You're going to need an, uh, a 6 millimeter metric hex to tighten these. Uh, which is the same as these and these screws here for the pivot two. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to pivot one, which takes an 8 millimeter. I want to show you what that adjustment does. So we're going to loosen this guy up. If you've got these back even further, you may have to tilt the bars a little like this so you have room to get at these. So I'm going to loosen this. And I want to show you what this does. This adjustment raises and lowers this outer section right here. raises and lowers it like that. And then while that's still loose, if I slide, show you how this moves. And they're both kind of, they're important to do probably simultaneously. So if you loosen this one, now you can adjust it this way and this way. That's down all the way. That's up all the way. That's all the way forward. That's all the way back. So it's an incredible range. I'm going to set these at two for this customer. And I'm counting these small. Let's see if you can see them right here. see the small dots on top and there's a single one that stays stationary on the bottom. I'm going to set these at two. All right. This is a one-man film crew so this is true reality TV. There we go. <laughs> Pretty sure this customer who has a very short reach is going to want this at two. So I'll go ahead and snug that. And so I got this at two, and I've rotated this one till it felt right, and then we'll mirror it onto that side and uh, snug that up good. Snug this guy up good. Okay, now we'll go over and we'll do the same to this side and uh, get them both the same. Then we'll work through the torque sequence. 
Okay, so we're ready. This is not a torque wrench, but you're going to use your torque wrench. You're going to set it to 18 foot-pounds. You're going to torque the forward two first. Then you're going to do the rear two. We've made a final decision. This is the angle and the setback and height we want, so we torque that. We've made our adjustments back and back this way, so we're now going to torque these 10 millimeter screws down here. This takes an 8 millimeter head. We're going to torque those to 22 foot pounds. Both sides. Okay, now we're going to grab our 6 millimeter and we're going to torque this single pinch bolt on both sides. This is what tightens this motion down. So we're going to tighten those. And then up here, we're going to do these to 12 foot-pounds. So now we're going to do these four to 14 foot-pounds. Thanks for watching our latest install video. This one is for the new GTL Horizon adjustable handlebars. For more information, go to our website at HealyBars.com. Thank you.